one block jumps, the easiest jumps in Minecraft parkour. That's not actually true, but bear with me. Anyways, we call them one block jumps, but you don't have to jump. Watch. I know what you're thinking. Barriers, fly hack, potion effects. Wrong. I'm probably wrong too. I don't think you were thinking that at all, because you trust me. You know you can trust me. Trust yourself too. This is not so hard and you can do it. It's very easy to do if I'm honest. If you want to run over a long line of consecutive one block jumps, all you really need is a 45 strafe. Also helpful is momentum, preferably elevation or head hitter. Facing straight and with flat momentum alone, you cannot sprint your way over that many jumps, so you really want to employ these techniques I've just mentioned. First, you're probably most curious about the 45 strafe. What or who is that? This person, they're pretty good at parkour. 45 strafe is a technique of facing a diagonal angle of either plus or minus 45.0 or plus or minus 135.0, and then holding sprint as well as one of the strafe keys A or D. You saw me do it in the intro clip. This makes you move faster than sprinting and looking straight, as explained by Intel Edits in this video. It also has applications in parkour, but the technique is different than looking at the 45 degree angle the whole time. You gotta do this weird thing of snapping your neck, but for now we don't care about that. All you need to know for what we're doing today is to look and run diagonally. Now for the momentum part. Any momentum setup will do, I think diagonal setups lend themselves best to the 45 strafe technique, but you can also try a classical straight momentum setup like the 1v2p, but that reduces your maximum capabilities as I've said already. The best momentum you can get which will help you go the farthest, running over the most amount of one block jumps, is ice trap door head hitter momentum. Elevation momentum is the second best. With diagonal elevation momentum and 45 strafing, I managed to sprint my way over 40 one block jumps. But here's the ice trap door head hitter momentum and I got to 42. These records are probably very easily beatable and I challenge you all to try it. In fact, I know it's beatable because I saw this video. You'll notice this fella, Baconerd, doesn't even use momentum, it's just the 45 strafe, and he's not even looking exactly at one of the 45 angles. He's on 131.1999, and to correct for this, the line of one block jumps shifts over about every 16 or 17 jumps. Given that Baconerd does this for 1000 jumps, and could have kept going if he didn't stop himself, I'd say that it is possible to do an infinite amount of one block jumps without jumping. One big takeaway though, is that the 45 strafe is much more important than momentum in this case. You can run over a lot of one block jumps with the 45 strafe and no momentum, but you'll struggle to do even 10 with only momentum and no 45 strafe. So that answers my first big question of, how many one block jumps can you run over? I have a second big question though, which is, what is the longest gap you can run over without jumping? Again, I tried to test this myself. Using the same principles of momentum and 45 strafing, I easily managed to cross a one block gap to an anvil, and I had a little more trouble crossing a one block gap to a cobble wall, but still managed. I did not manage to cross a one block gap to a fence, however. So through my own investigation, the maximum distance with elevation momentum and 45 strafing seems to be somewhere between 1.25 and 1.375 blocks. However, we also know that you can cross a one block distance while also going up half a block, a slab, that's known as the 1 plus 0.5. But what I found more fun to investigate was how far you can go with ice trap door head hitter momentum. I found myself changing block distance by very small increments. I started with a 1.5 block jump, which is a one block to an iron bar. I then did a 2B with two trap doors on either end, which is a 1.776 block jump. Then I cut that down to one trap door, which is a 1.888 block jump. No trap doors at all, that's a full two block jump and I did that. I thought I was nearing the limit here, but it didn't stop. A 2B to anvil, which is 2.125 blocks, a 2.5 block jump to an iron bar, a 2.563 block jump to a horizontal iron bar, a 2.776 block jump made using two trap doors, a 2.888 block jump with only one trap door, and finally, a pure three block jump without actually jumping, but actually with jumping because I was jumping to get momentum. But crucially, I did not jump to cross a gap. Or did I? I noticed that I was actually jumping up into the two block ceiling, which was not what I was trying to investigate. So I placed trap doors on the ceiling all the way to the landing block, and I had to do some backtracking. With these real no jump conditions, I realized that the limit seems to be the 2.563 block jump to the horizontal iron bar, which is still pretty impressive. And I figured I better go back to determine the limit for the fake no jump condition, where I am freed from the upper trap door and can jump into that two block ceiling. The limit for this seems to be a 3.125 block jump, a 3B to an anvil. Even though I am technically jumping to complete this jump, I still think it's cool that it's possible to make that longer distance under a two block ceiling. Now I gotta give credit to Mitha, who initially showed me this trick when we were working on my housing parkour together. I might turn that one into a video. Penguin with a gun. Yo, FF!
I can't change. I won't do anything at all. I wanna push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. I wanna push you down. Well, I will. Well, I will. I wanna take you for granny.